Jeroboam was the king of Israel. One day, he started thinking, if the people of Israel want to worship God, they have to go to the temple in Jerusalem. Jerusalem is in the kingdom of Judah, where their old king, Rehoboam, is ruling. Maybe the Israelites will start thinking of King Rehoboam as their leader. That was not what Jeroboam wanted. So Jeroboam made two golden calves. Then he made an announcement to the northern tribes. It is so inconvenient for you to travel all the way to Jerusalem to worship at the temple, he said. Look, these golden calves are the gods who brought your ancestors out of Egypt. You can worship them. What Jeroboam did was a sin. Those calves did not lead God's people out of Egypt. God led his people out of Egypt. Jeroboam also built forbidden shrines and celebrated made-up festivals so Israel would seem like a better place to live than Judah. Jeroboam led all the people in worship to the false gods. One day, Jeroboam was standing by an altar to make a sacrifice to a false god. God sent a prophet from Judah to share a message. The prophet said that a son named Josiah would be born into the family of King David. He would bring judgment on the priests who make sacrifices to false gods. King Jeroboam pointed to the prophet and shouted, Arrest this man! But suddenly, Jeroboam couldn't move his arm, and the altar next to him broke into pieces. Help! Jeroboam told the prophet, Pray and ask God to heal my arm. So the prophet prayed to God, and God healed Jeroboam's arm. Still, Jeroboam's heart was hard, and he did not turn from his evil ways. He continued to sin by leading the people away from the Lord. Because of this sin, Jeroboam's kingdom would one day be destroyed. Sin always leads us away from God. Jesus came to bring us back to God. Jesus is the true king who gave his life as a sacrifice so we can be forgiven of our sins. Jesus' kingdom will last forever.